Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I just started to play this game again because I, I, I just really like it. So, I got some positive feedback from my new microphone and everything, and I don't sound too sick yet, but I'm getting there, so I need to get videos out before I start hacking and sounding like a female or a, a male Miley Cyrus, whatever. But, um, on my own. But anyways, thanks for the positive feedback, and let's get into this on Eric's route. Okay. This time we're probably gonna meet them. I slid my phone out of my pocket and answering it while slowly easing myself onto the bed. Who could possibly be talking? Be calling? I did that the same last time. Ugh. Hey, Anderson, you there? Oh, it's my friends. Is everything all right? We were worried about you, so we decided to call. Mm. Hello? I'm really glad you guys called. Oh, friendship. My voice managed to come out, though it was only a whisper. What happened? Are you okay? I'm not okay. Well... I slowly began to tell them about the funeral that afternoon. A small silence followed when I was done recounting what happened. And to my relief, Naomi finally spoke up. I can't begin to imagine how you must be feeling right now. I'm so sorry. Do you want us to come over right now? Oh. No, it's okay. My dad is in, in a good mood, so could we just keep talking on the phone like this? Of course! We'd stay on the phone until the crack of dawn. Right, Suzu? Oh my god. Friendship. <laughs> mm. Yeah. We're always here if you need us. After all, we wouldn't be the awesome triple threat trio without you, right? <sighs> By the way, um, Suzu so far is the most voted for in the poll because I guess you didn't meet any of the other girls yet. Like, Naomi's got no votes. Like, for the next route I'm gonna play, so, so far it looks like Suzu is the next one who I'm gonna play. <laughs> yeah. Triple Threat Trio? That sounds like the name of a gang! Yeah, that's kind of the point, Naomi. Yeah! I mean, we're all taking on the world together. We've got to sound so much scary, or else no one's going to take us seriously. Eh. What's with you in naming things? It's cool. You've got to step up your game, Naomi. Falling behind to the cool kids like Anderson and me. Tsk, tsk. <sighs> hey! I'm a cool kid! If I'm anything, so I'd say good. you have to step up your game! Cool kids. Okay. <laughs> we chatted cheerfully about all sorts of things. Very soon I had forgotten about the events of that day and was engaging in a conversation about Naomi's favorite TV show, some program called Her Herlock. <sighs> Sherlock, okay. That sounds familiar as well. We all agree that the actor playing the, uh... Oh my gosh, I can't even read right now. <laughs> Tinular character certainly had a very distinct look about him. With the long overcoat, the scarf wrapped around his neck. We had many disagreements about who we thought was the coolest character. <laughs> <laughs> he has really high cheekbones, and his eyes are very pretty, though I too have to say I prefer Jotson. <laughs> and as a bonus, his actor is just so sassy. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. I looked at the clock hanging on the wall and realized how late it was. Whoa, it's already 1 a.m.? Sorry for keeping you guys up so late. I think I'm gonna hit the hay for tonight. See you guys at school tomorrow. I, pr I should probably shower and go to bed. I can't believe I stayed up this late just to talk to my friends. No words. But it was really nice. Well, to the bathroom I go. Yes, go, go to the bathroom. I took a relaxing shower.
nothing beats hot water and the feeling of being clean. After drying myself, I promptly dressed in my pajamas and crawled into bed. Ah, <sighs> nice hot shower after a long day. I was so glad to finally be in bed. It had been a really long day. I knew what I was wish that I was w wishing for something to change back back in class, but I certainly wasn't expecting any of the things that happened today. And I have to go back to school tomorrow. <laughs> I curled up on my side and tightly wrapped the blankets around me. I really wasn't in the mood to return to school, but my dad probably would make me go just for the sake of it. It's time to go to sleep. I reached out it's the lamp on my nightstand, turning off the lights. However, my mind was lost, lost in the passing of my grandfather, and the thoughts of inheriting something so big that that it haunted my mind the entire night until the next morning. <coughs> ah, no, no, that sound it brings back flashbacks. Uh, five more minutes. Um, I shook my head and tried to clear the sleepiness out of me, but to no avail. I really didn't get any sleep last night. It's time to wake up. Wait. You know, ready? It's, uh, wait. School. School! As soon as I realized I had to go to school, I slid out of bed and looked at the vanity mirror. That's a relief. Luckily, there was barely a bruise on my cheek. You had to squint to actually see it. I doubt anyone would actually notice it unless they leaned in really close. Mmm, leaned in very close. <laughs> Breathing out of sigh, I got dressed, took my backpack, and caught the bus to school. It wasn't even hours before I heard the news. Everyone heard of the news. I was approached in school and given condolences for my loss. However, that wasn't what shocked my friends. Wait, so you have the whole Anderson house to yourself? Lucky as hell, man! <clears throat> Quit being so sensitive, Naomi. Quit being so vulgar, Suzu! Oh my gosh. I don't know. Oh, man, come on! See, she knows about proper public taste. Uh, okay. I wouldn't say that. I but... know how to be a lady. Sheesh. Guys, I'm going there after school today because my parents want me to get used to living there. Seriously? It hasn't even been a day since you came back to school. I know, but my parents want me to try living there as soon as possible. Still, that's really fast. Are you going to be okay? <laughs> if there's a bunch of hot guys, yes. Um, what? Mm. <laughs> of course. Uh, that, that I don't even know what that was. Um, but even in the comfort of my best, blah, 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 in my best friends, life seemed to keep testing me. <laughs> Oof. Hey! Don't go around shoving people like that. You go, Suzu. Whoops. Did I strike a nerve, Capini? Fuck you, bitch. Why do all the mean girls have to be blonde with, like, blue eyes? It's not fair. Wait, is it- Okay, Naomi's supposed to be blonde, but this girl is like- What the hell? Are there different shades of blonde that I don't know about? What? I bet her hair's not even real blonde. She just dyed it yellow. Bitch. Yeah, you heard me. She just let out a small laugh as she twirled her hair around her finger. This set one of the last people I want to see today. Classic mean girl. It's not me you should be apologizing to. Wearing pink and looking slutty. Oh, Anderson. Hey, how's it going? Fuck you. I am alright, bitch. Uh, haven't you already heard, Lizette? Of what? Fuck you. Her grandfather's passing. I'm sorry, I just don't like her. I just don't. 
don't I don't like mean girls. They should all just go. Um Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry about that. That's really not channel. Uh, you're not being real. You don't care about you. It doesn't really sound like you mean it. Yeah. I do mean it. Earnestly. Why wouldn't I? Because you're a bitch. Typical Capini. Isn't her family involved with the mafia or something? I wouldn't be surprised if she brought out the bat from behind her back right this moment. Well, why do you talk? Uh, okay, like you're talking shit and you're talking like this. I just. I'm dumb. I had nearly forgotten the crowd to follow Zet, which was mostly comprised of people that nobody wanted to see on a typical school basis. Basically, dumbass rich kids. I don't know. No one had the slightest idea why exactly they followed Zet around persistently. But they labeled themselves as the social equals with her. Uh-huh. That is out of line! Suzu comes from an honest family! Says the one whose family profits from political scandals. Mm. Yeah, your dad doesn't make anything unless he's in the courts with dirty politicians. I'm I'm sorry, it's it's I, I just I just hate these characters. <sighs> Actually no, I'm not sorry. This this girl needs to be punched in the jaw. Hey, let's all calm down for a second, all right? I'm sure Anderson needs some time to recuperate. I mean, what just happened? We need to give her some respect. Fuck you. Mm. Just stop. Stop acting like that already. You feel s like you feel sorry for me. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? Fuck you, bitch. I'm sure you're happy seeing me like this. You've already have everything you've wanted. And now seeing me like this, life couldn't get any better. Bitterness seeped into me, and the words just started flying out of my mouth without filter. But honestly, I didn't care. I was so consumed by anger that I only saw Lizette in front of me. What exactly am I to you? Just another part of your obstacle course? Is that what I am? I am sick of it, Lisette. I'm sick of all of these trades. I'm sick of you. Gas rose from the crowd, the crowd around her, and I was brought back to the school hallway. Even my friends beside me looked like they were surprised. And look at that face. Look at that dumbass face. One girl looked like she was about to speak up, but Lisette held her hand up to stop her. Stop! There was an emotion in her face that I couldn't quite make out, but I could see a form of pity in her eyes. Oh, don't you dare pity me. I looked away from her. I didn't want to see the emotion in her eyes when she was talking to me. She didn't have the right to look at me that way. I'm sorry. I know your grandfather passing away must have really taken a toll on your emotions. Fuck you, bitch. This game can be taken in a very silly way, or like, a very kind of like serious tone, and I'm trying to like, do both. Like, there's some people, like, I, I think they had like a, where I first saw this game is like, uh, the demo and the anime man or something, and Aki Dearest was like, um, playing it and kind of making fun of it. But I mean, it's a good game, it's just, it can be taken both ways. Hmm. She stepped towards me and put her hand on my shoulder, giving me a tiny smile as if for old time's sake. No, bitch, don't touch me. For some reason, I didn't feel comforted at all. For some reason. <laughs> um, not that I was just angry at her, but the expression on her face when she leaned in close to me could, could torch it into something complex. She leaned in close. Oh, oh no. Something was different about her. I couldn't quite place my finger on it, but something about her definitely changed. Well, I'll be going for now. Track meet responsibilities and all of that stuff. See you later. Something about Lizette made me feel uncomfortable. I wasn't just ang angry, I was also uneasy. What was it? I had never seen her like that before but I decided to pay no further attention. 
to it as she continued running down the hall with her gaggle of friends behind her. I refocused on my attention to Miss Phillips, who was walking down the hall towards me. Is everything all right, girls? No. Nothing we couldn't handle, Mrs. P. Just a bunch of snobs. Yes. Suzu, hush! It was nothing, Mrs. Phillips. I see. Well, Miss Anderson, please accept my condolences for your loss. <sighs> Thanks, Miss Phillips. Your grandfather was a good man. He really upheld the philanthropy of his company's policies, and the money that went towards charity, too. I know. He was amazing. I really looked up to him, and I want to be as good as he was. Well, I know that you'll be as great as your grandfather. Hell yeah, she will! She'll be ten times better than her grandfather. Would I? Would I really be better than my grandfather? Everyone seemed to have high expectations for me. I wanted to do my best and make my family proud, but to be better than Grandfather? I wasn't sure about that. From outside the school window, I saw a familiar blue car pull up to the curb. Undoubtedly, it was my father in the driver's seat. Oh, well, my ride's here. Well, I guess I'll see you both tomorrow. Want us to come with you? No, it's okay. <laughs> I'll be fine. See you later. Hey, Dad. Hey, honey. As I got into the car, I noticed my father's look, look troubled, clutching his steering wheel and staring straight ahead as if something was really bothering him. About what happened yesterday. I'm sorry for yelling at you. Does your cheek still hurt? Hell yeah. Uh, no, it's nothing to worry about. I mean it. I shouldn't have laid a finger on you. You know that you're my most precious daughter. You're all that I have. I'm your only daughter. I... Yet he couldn't bring himself to say what he could never say to me for such a long time. I always wanted to hear those words to affirm how he really felt, but I guess even now, he couldn't say it to me. I turned my head away to look at the window. There was no point in waiting for something that was never going to come. And like that, he started to drive, and the conversation between us ended. I decided to focus my attention on the passing scenery. We were taking the usual route to Grandfather's house. It was located within the vicinity of the school district, but it was still pretty far away from the school and from where our house was. He had always lived alone. He insisted on doing things himself. Even at his age, living in such a large house. I wonder, did he pass away with no one at his side as well? It sounded so lonely and sad. It was strange that he decided on living all alone in his large estate. If anything, he could have lived with us. Though, he and my father probably would have given each other the silent treatment the entire time. Maybe living alone was preferable to that. <clears throat> Sorry. I actually couldn't. I act. I actually hadn't visited him for quite a while. Visiting visits to his house were most frequent when I was a child, but I had grown up long since then. The last time I visited, though, I thought he had looked just as he usually was, happy and healthy. But things changed. In the back of my mind, I knew he would have to leave one day. It wasn't like humans could live forever. So, why did my heart feel so heavy? The car ride was mostly spent in silence until he spoke up again. How was school? Maintaining your grades, I hope. <clears throat> as, uh, yeah, I've been trying my best as of so far. Trying? That's not really doing the best you can, is it? Fuck you! Why are there so many assholes in this game? Mm. My father, only some words were filtered through his ears. It was difficult to try and keep up a conversation without talking about academics or my future, even if it was something loosely based on it. He always found a, found a way to integrate it into whatever we talked. Anyway, your belongings are in the trunk. 
There isn't a lot, so I'm sure you can manage bringing them inside the house. Mm. After. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, I can manage on my own. The usual silence resumed between us. I really wasn't sure what to say around him, especially when most of the time we didn't even share the same opinions. One question did linger in my mind, though. If I was going to justify acting so nonchalant, uh, if he was going to, at grandfather's funeral, I had the right to at least know why. Uh, we're gonna leave it alone. I don't want to get slapped again. <laughs> there was no use talking about this. It would be like reopening a wound or reapplying a bruise. I sighed. He gave me a slight glance. glance ugh, I can't word. Out of curiosity. But didn't pursue it further. Typical. Yes. I leaned against the car door and stared out the window. I really couldn't think. What would this place be like? I had been to my grandfather's house before, but... It was one thing visiting, and it was another thing actually living there. How could I imagine living on my own without any training to really care for a house? I knew that natu naturally the bills would be paid by my parents, who inherited grandfather's stocks to the corporation, but I had never lived independently before. Thinking about it made me feel some kind of bird being pushed out of the nest. Though I was technically an adult, I felt unprepared and a bit daunted by the, pro by the prospect of actually moving into a new place. Most people my age would be ecstatic moving out. After all, it would symbolize some kind of change in their lives, like being on the road to independence. <clears throat> Sorry, um, but I felt it felt like nothing of the sort. I really hoped I wouldn't let my parents down. I wouldn't want to let Grandfather down. What would he be saying right now? I gazed down at the passing clouds of the sky. If you're out there, Grandfather, how would the um, how would you, be, how would you be doing? Uh, would there be anything you'd want to tell me at this moment? I'm sorry that I'm reading fast and I'm jumbling up words. When we get to, like, the good parts, then I probably will slow down. And the fact that I... What was I saying? Sorry that I'm talking a bit fast. Yeah, whatever. Uh, still, yeah, I am a little sick, so... I need to stay hydrated. Hold on. Oh, okay. And, of course, no answer. Oh, what am I doing? Searching for an answer in a heaven that would never exist. Ducked my head to stare at, I ducked my head to stare at the blur of trees and, and cars from the car window. My head was definitely going into the clouds there at that moment. Either way, I found myself being driven off to my new home. The car rolled to a stop, and I drifted um, out of my thoughts. Here we are. Go on in. Thanks, Dad. All right, tell Mom I love her. All right. All right. I love you, Dad. <sighs> I'm your daughter. Mm. Mm. <sighs> no, make sure to come by and visit us often. No, I'm gonna miss you lots. Nothing. Just the blank stare, cause he is an ass. I paused a bit before reaching for the car door handle and waiting for a bit, waiting for any form of goodbye, but he didn't speak again. I sighed and exited the car, hearing my dad pop open the trunk. I saw the two large bags I packed last night. They were large enough to carry, only the things I needed. I took them out and placed one bag on each shoulder and then closed the trunk. He then drove off, leaving me alone in front of the mansion. I watched the car, the blue car, fade into the distance of the road before turning to see my new home. There it is! It's huge! My grandfather gave me this! It's hard to believe!
The house was framed by a set of tall gates. I hesitantly pushed them aside to take in the entire estate. The house still looked like it was like it was when I visited last. At a glance, it seemed kind of intimidating with its size, though if I came closer, it was clear that there was no more to it than that. The brick walls were framed by shrub shrubbery and lovely flowers, giving it a homey and welcoming look. But in con contrast, the tall, the bleh, the 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 help, um, the tall doors into the house gave me a feeling of grand grand. Help me, uh, I'm making my own language. Don't judge me. Who knew what was waiting for me, but I wouldn't back down at this moment. I took, I took out the key to the front doors and unlocked them. Well, might as well make myself at home. I'll be staying there for quite a while anyways. <laughs> That's when I saw them. Lying on the floor was a group of men. <laughs> they were all unconscious. But there was no explanation as to why they were there in the first place. I dropped my bags as I let the door close on its own behind me. <laughs> Who are these guys? Why are they here? What's going on? Some of them had open wounds. The blood was draining, staining the floor, and the scent was intermingling with the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, all these men here lying on the floor of my new house. <laughs> oh boy, I'm so scared. No, I'm really happy actually. I couldn't help but feel bad for them instinctively, but nevertheless, I was shocked and a bit angry at the sudden intrusion. My mind suddenly went from caring and concerned to confused and demanding answers. Who are you guys? No response. I'll call the police! Still nothing. None of them seem to be awake. Uh, I, my voice is like cracking. Oh my god. Um to answer or respond to me. It seems surreal, surreal to have random strangers in the house I just moved into. But I wanted answers. Quickly. And that was until... Ah! Get away from me! Woman, you're going to let me kiss you. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. By the way, this guy is voiced by uh, Kagi Films. He is a YouTuber. Um, or Alejandro is his real name, but I really like his videos and stuff, and he's played this before, uh, because he does voice act this one, and his name's Sam, uh, you will see, but I haven't seen anything on Sam yet, but so, okay, sorry about that, I think I just plugged out my headphones, so, oh, dang it, I hope you guys could hear that, uh, were my headphones still plugged out? Oh. Sorry if you couldn't hear that. Uh, or like, I don't even know if my headphones have anything. Why am I rambling? Okay, yeah, this is played by a YouTuber. This is my second favorite character, even though I don't know much about him, except he's, he's pretty cool. He's he's the Sundari. Um, oh god. I couldn't believe it myself, but within a mere blink of an eye, one of the men went from my on the floor to be right in front of my face. There was an even more, even more odd was the fact that I felt serene and calm about it. Oh my fur! A slowly a desire burned in my chest, telling me to accept his kiss, even when my mind venture, uh, ven ventumly refused. Uh, go ahead. Good. Help. As he kissed me, I could feel my body go weak. 
I didn't know why, but <laughs> that kiss was draining me of my energy, and yet it, it was so good, it made me, my heart sing. A strange and tingly feeling that danced over me, uh, every nerve on my body. I could feel streams of intangible energy run up my body into my lips. Felt odd. <laughs> But at the same time, it felt amazing. Sam, stop it. Oh, ah! <laughs> mm? Mm. The person kissing me. Sam? was his name? Glanced behind him. I said stop. Now. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> I'm losing all my shits. I don't have no shits anymore. Finally, he pulled back, and I was left standing there in a daze. I couldn't tell what was going on. My mind was completely enwrapped by the kiss and my thoughts that melted into the depths of my forgotten memories. God. Please forgive my brother. He's a bit reckless. It's okay. <laughs> At least I feel a hell of a lot better than you right now. Because Help you me. used your abilities on her. When Eric comes in, oh god, it's... Warning, lots of squeals, fangirling if you didn't notice. Sam, ah! you're such a reckless brute. Taking advantage of a beautiful young woman like her. Oh, this is Eric. Shut that pretty boy mouth of yours before I rip it off your pretty boy face. <laughs> Jeez, you guys, can we not fight right now? So adorable. Not all of us are in the best state. Okay, I've seen this guy's root. Like I've seen all of his root, even the second game. Yes, there's a second game, and I will be playing it. <sighs> oh my god, all of them, all of them. Oh my god, help me. I hope at least someone gets a little bit of enjoyment out of me freaking out. Like, honestly. For once, I'm not crying out of fear. It's out of, like, happiness. I guess you are right, Matthew. Oh my god. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Hmm. Oh, I, I have no idea about this little sweet cinnamon here. Cinnamon roll. Um, him, I have... Like, I know a little bit about all of these guys, but I have no idea about him. Like, only a tiny bit. Just not, like, in the whole grand scheme. I think his roots are very sad. So now that you've met these guys, you can also vote on them. But I know that most of the uh, guys watching my videos are going to pick the girls. Because why not? Um, but there's only three girls. So, yeah, haven't met the third one yet. However, as the man got up and started to chat freely, my thoughts began to resemble, and I remembered my confusion my and my anger once again. Only now, multiply tenfold. L what? Huh? Did you say something beautiful? <laughs> yes, Eric! And I exploded. What is going on? Why the hell are you here in my house? Why are you all wounded? Why did you kiss me? Who are you guys? Okay. So <laughs> Sam's face. All of their faces. Oh my god. I love this so freaking much. And yeah. I had to yell. It's it's a thing. I couldn't help but exploding after being taken advantage of and being left in a mush state. My words escaped without filter. I definitely scared the man around me, even the man who kissed me. <laughs> help! 
Wait a second. The guy who kissed me. Ouch! What's your problem? <laughs> What's your problem? You can't just go around forcing people to kiss you like that. Are you some kind of pervert? Oh my gosh, that that one way too high. Pervert? It was only a kiss. It might mean nothing to you, but it means a lot to me. What? Was it your first kiss? <laughs> Ow! Hey, what was that for? I know first kisses aren't exactly amazing and full of sparkles and something out of a fairy tale, but I had at least expected it to be more than just something forced. So it was your first kiss. Stop making such a big deal out of it. Are you asking to get punched again? Well, what do you want me to do? It's not like I can somehow take it back. Ow! You're just being violent now! <laughs> you deserved it. Anyways, if you try to pull any funny business in the future, just a fair warning. I know Taekwondo. Yes, girl. Taekwondo. I do too. Just saying. Yeah. This is. This devious is shaping up to be a pretty cool character. I think I figured enough. Time to get back to the main issue. Oh, damn, the music, though. It's, it's pretty loud. Um, so what exactly are all of you doing in my house? <sighs> Miss, please forgive us in our intrusion. We didn't know this abode belonged to anyone, nor did we have the time to take that into consideration. Oh, my God. What do you mean? You don't just barge into people's homes. We wouldn't have had to if we weren't as wounded as we are currently. We just escaped from a deadly fight that could have ended our lives. Hmm? Sorry, I thought I heard something. Um... Luckily for us, your home was near and the windows were unlocked, so we quickly came inside. The last time I remembered, there was a law preventing strangers from stepping onto private property. Although, considering the severity of their wounds, it had to be serious. I guess that explains the wounds, but not why he kissed me. He had absolutely no right to do that. Well, lovely flustered lady, it's hard to explain, truly. We're not exactly normal. What are you guys, demons or something? <laughs> I asked almost jokingly, but the boy seemed to take my question differently. Sweet demons, hot demon guys. Oh god, I'm drooling. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, actually, something like that. He's adorable. Uh, We're incubi, miss. Incubi. Demons yeah. who consume and use sexual energy of humans to survive. Incubi? The fabled demons that existed to haunt humans and make them the sex crazy monster? The mythical beings that could look like anyone just to get into your van? <laughs> the imaginary monsters you only saw in t on movies or TV? Hello? Did you hear him? Oh my god. We're telling the truth. Ah, uh, Eric. Do you think she's still processing it? Oh, buddy. Yes. And she'll understand right about... Right! It was funny while it lasted, but... It's time to cut the joke short. Incubuses don't exist. Eh, there was no way they existed. Uh, that would be practically impossible. Ahem. <laughs> Incubi is the correct plural form. And yes, we do exist. Prove it. Oh, god damn. Yes, 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 yes. As soon as the words left my mouth, I instantly regretted them. Very well. Eric, go ahead. <sighs> oh. 
<laughs> Very well. My sweet, you're so tempting with such non-belief. Let me ease your mind with a tender kiss. I promise you'll enjoy every minute of it. And maybe you'll even want more. Oh, my life. Mm. What? Uh, once again, I was lost in a pool of calm and serenity. Staring into Eric's eyes, I felt waves of heat course through my chest into my face, painting my cheeks red as uh, in their wake. I couldn't help but nod and agree to his offer. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> no, <laughs> help me. With another kiss, my heart began to flutter once again in my chest, and my mind was sent spinning into a heated passion filled with pleasure. Yet, I could feel my body drain of energy as he kissed me. Alright, that's enough. Aww. Very well. <laughs> I feel so much better. Oh. <laughs> As he pulled away, I was left in a mental mush pool. I felt weak in the knees. Despite my will demanding me to stand up straight in front of the boys before me, the world around me began to spin as I tried to speak. I think I'm gonna... to... Ah, where are our manners? I'm James, and these are my brothers. Sam, Eric, Matthew, and Damien. James is the oldest one. I know that much. Uh, the youngest one is Damien. The second youngest is Matthew. Um, I think the second one... The second oldest... We'll see. We get to hear all their stories. Miss, are you okay? No, I'm not. Shit. She fainted. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Incubi. Real. It all spun around in my head until I only saw black. Floating in the darkness, my mind kept replaying the scene over and over again, reminding my body of the touch of the Incubi's lips against mine, especially Eric. Uh, however, I began to feel smooth silk around me as my eyelids unwillingly opened. Ooh, where? I woke to find myself in an unfamiliar place. Where was mom and dad? I was pretty sure this wasn't my room. Oh wait, I lived in my grandfather's house now. Of course, it would be unfamiliar. I rubbed my eyes and surveyed my surroundings. I was still in my clothes that I had arrived at the house in, but I was lying in a silk-covered bed. I remember coming in the afternoon, so why was it night time already? Suppressing a yawn, I stretched my arms. Maybe I could order some food or delivery. I was feeling pretty hungry, and I was about to sit up, but I suddenly realized I wasn't alone. Okay, there. Then we're gonna end this right here and figure out who is the one who's watching us right now and more of Eric I hope you enjoyed my fangirling uh, see y'all later guys brr